This is Judy in the Kitchen. Today, before we get started, I am so excited to share with you my new cookbook. The reason I wrote a cookbook is because so many people ask for my healthy recipes, so I decided to share them with you. There are 30 recipes in this book, and if you are interested, leave a comment below. And today, I will be showing you how to make healthy trail mix. So come on in, join me in the kitchen. Okay, now we're going to put our trail mix together. In this bowl, I have almonds, pecans, and cashews mixed together. And I will put the um, amounts down in the description box. So just mix all those in there. It looks delicious, right? I think I can eat that just like that. But then I'm going to add, in this bowl, I have a mixture of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. So you can see them in the bottom. The pumpkin seeds and the um, sunflower seeds are mixed together. So I'm just going to put those in my bowl too. Mix all that together. And then I have dark chocolate. Okay, and I'm going to mix this in there. This is a really easy recipe. And the reason why I decided to do this is because... I like trail mix, but you ever got a trail mix that you didn't like everything that was in there? Like, I don't like all the candy and the M&Ms and all that. So I decided to make my own trail mix. And I'm sure someone else out there wants to make their own trail mix too. And so I love coconut. I'm going to mix coconut in here also. So I'm just going to put that in my bowl. Isn't that looking good already? And then I have a... A pinch of nutmeg, cinnamon, and just a little bit of the, the pink salt. So I'm going to mix that in there because I got the raw um, almonds and, you know, seed um, raw and no salt, okay? Then this I have, uh, what's in here, raisins and craisins mixed together. See, it's a, what is it, a cup of those. So it's a half a cup of each. I'm going to mix that in there. Just put all that in there. And then I'm just going to mix this up. Doesn't that look good? Seriously. And then when you make your own trail mix, you get to say what's in it and what's not in it. And that's what I like about making my own. And then you can um, put them in individual bags to take to work. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. You have to really see this. That really looks really good. And with all that stuff mixed in there, it's all healthy stuff. And then I have some popcorn, um, Air Pops popcorn. I'm just going to mix a little bit of the popcorn in there with that. And just stir this up. Give it a big stir. And you can put as much or as little of something as you like. And if you don't like the raisins or if you don't like the popcorn, then you can leave it out. And if you get the raw um, cashews and almonds, just add a little sea salt or Himalayan salt or some kind of salt to it. But if you get the salted ones, then you don't get to control how much salt you have in your, in your mix. See how easy that was? What did that take? Just a few minutes? That's how you build a healthy trail mix. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share. And when you make your trail mix, just leave a comment. Let me know what you put in your trail mix. And maybe I can put that in my trail mix the next time. So thank you so much for joining. Remember to give, us, give me a thumbs up. Share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. That's our trail mix.